So let's start off right away. I am well aware that my beard fell off. Um, I'm really hoping that sucker grows back. Mistakes were made. Um, but if you're here looking for how to Bluetooth your controller to your PC or whatever, that's not what this video is about, even though I will just cover it real quick. Uh, you turn your controller on, and then you hit the synchronizing button. And when this is flashing, if you're in your PC, go to your Bluetooth area, look for that wireless Xbox controller to pop up. If you're on your phone, do the same, so on and so on. Uh, if that doesn't work, that's why I'm actually making this video here. Because I was struggling and getting really frustrated. I have, this came with my Xbox One S. See if I can turn that around. There we go. This came with my Xbox One S. And then this, well, two of these came with my, well, actually, I think one of these came with my Xbox One, my original, um, the launch day model. And then I, I purchased another one. And then I got another, a third black one that I got when I got my Xbox One S. Um, I didn't think I'd actually own two Xbox Ones. It was just on uh, Black Friday last year. They were $179 and I had a 4K TV and I'm like, that's a phenomenal deal for a 4K player. So, and the Xbox makes such a good uh, streaming device, media device. Uh, it has all the codecs. You know this. It, well, maybe you don't know that. Look into it. It's pretty awesome. But the reason for you being here is having problems. You know you're doing it right and it's not Bluetooth thing. Well, I'm going to show you the bottom of both my controllers here. And you'll see right here, we have the 3.5 millimeter jack for plugging in a headset so that you can just you know talk through your um through your controller where here you'll see i don't have one and this is my original one so my newer black one and the white one here both have that and then both my originals uh do not and my originals do not bluetooth so if you're having a lot of trouble i just thought i'd throw this up there this is probably all over online I just turned on one of my Xboxes. Oh, it's Bluetooth to my S. So this does, or not Bluetooth, it's synced to my S. It's not using Bluetooth as far as I'm aware, but um, so that does work. But yeah, so if, you, if you're thinking you're doing everything right and it's not working, take a look at the bottom. If you don't have the 3.5 millimeter um, headset jack, I personally have never successfully gotten one of those to pair, but yet I'll turn this one on, do it right away, no problems, and that could be your issue. Uh, so if anyone else knows anything otherwise, like maybe some kind of way of upgrading it or something through firmware, I mean, if it's a hardware related issue, there's nothing that can really be done, but, um, well, other than purchasing one that does have the hole in it, but, uh, yeah, if anybody else knows, um, maybe how to software update that or something, uh, drop it in the comments, let me know. That'd be great because as far as I can tell, if you're having problems, that's the issue. The original controllers will not do it. Um, you can still USB them though. And I have done that. Uh, in fact, I do that with this because I was pairing it between PC and my phone, but now with xCloud and Stadia, I got so sick of doing that, that I just keep a cable by my PC now. Um, I should just get another controller and leave it for that, but Hey, controllers aren't that cheap. So other than that, um, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you have a good one. Thanks.